YouTubers, welcome to Anidentist Kitchen. So, our special guest is still here with us. So, be prepared, you'll be seeing him more often. So, without much ado, what is that in the house? It's okay, what are we doing today? Anidentist homemade banana bread. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I was waiting for that. Are you going to tell them about how you ate the other one? Yes. I it. Day, I gobbled it all up in my tummy. And I didn't even realize till mummy asked me. I had almost eaten a whole loaf and I did not realize it because it was so delicious. So you guys try this now and me and mummy are going to pause so you can subscribe and like this video. Mama, please can you heat the oven to 200 degrees? She okay? Okay, so now let's tell them about the ingredients. So the ingredients are pure vanilla extract, a grinder to grind the whole nutmeg, then we have some mixed spices, some, mommy, what's this? That's baking powder, baking mm. soda. Then we have buttermilk. Then flour, eggs, melted butter, pink Himalayan salt, some organic coconut sugar, walnuts, pecan nuts, ground cinnamon, plain flour and eight banana fingers. So if you've got any overripe bananas, please don't throw them away. They made the perfect banana bread recipe. Unfortunately, I've been baking so much this week, so all my overripe bananas are gone. But the perfect banana to use is the overripe one. So if you've got that, please don't check it out bake and this will send your neighbors knocking on your door trust me you need to try out this recipe so now we're going to grease the pan so all the ingredients don't get stuck together so you can use softened butter or if you've got any um spray um you can spray it up um so we are just going to use a brush and grease it. And that's the pan with flour. Plain flour. So once you dust it, you shake it all off the flour. Shake it. And this is to make sure that it doesn't, your butter, after we've mix it up the butter doesn't stick to the pan so with all the ingredients cases the measurements will be in the description button now we are going to be monkeys and peel it up eh? yeah. let's peel And to mash it up, we use a potato masher. But you can do all this. This is an easy recipe. It's one bowl recipe. So you can do all this in your food processor. I just want to show people, if you don't have a food processor, you can do it in a bowl with your potato masher and mash it. And this gives it some texture. Because the, you can see the bits in it. It gives it a really lovely texture. So now we are going to go ahead and put in all the rest of the ingredients. So um, we need one tablespoon nutmeg and nutmeg you get all the aroma when you freshly grind it. So I'm going to grind it now. This makes it so easy to grind. Just a pinch of cinnamon, just a pinch but it makes a whole lot of difference. Then we got some hair in there and fix them. Some mixed spices. Some coconut sugar, which is all in golden water. Yeah, for me, well done. Let me have 
And then we have Bring the flower. So we have some flour. Just here. Sensibly pour it. So then we put some buttermilk. Buttermilk helps it to be moist. And we have some buttermilk. baking powder. Baking powder. All of it. Well done. And bring the soda. The soda removed. Good. And we put in two tablespoons of vanilla extract. I normally prefer to crack the egg and check if it's all right before you pour it in. Otherwise, you're going to spoil, spoil the whole lot. One bad egg spoils the whole lot. We are going to mix it up, mix up here. Mix, 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 mix. the nuts. You can leave your nuts whole like this. But the first time I made up for home, Kay removed all the nuts. And the second time, mommy's little secret, I crushed it. And he came back and said, mommy, this is for yummy because there are no nuts. So, little secret, if you're doing it for kids, you can crush it so they don't take it out. But if it's for adults and you want it chunky, then you can leave it. I'm crushing the nuts up. It's delicious. So you can use your rolling pin, whatever you use, a bottle to bash it up. I'm using this for my mortar. Finish crushing it up. Now we're going to pour it in. And you can crush it with your grinder, your processor. I just want to show that if you don't have any fancy for kitchen gadgets, you can you can be creative in the kitchen and crush it in the bag like we've just done. And mix it up, mix it up. So if um, you want just one pan, one loaf tin, this is um, 9 by 5 inch loaf tin and the quantity we've made is going to go in these. Oh, we'll pour it to see but if you want one you just have the measurements the measurement will all be in the description button you just take half of each ingredient it's okay let's pour it in now we've poured the banana bread butter in the pan so we're going to put it in the oven to bake for 40 to 45 minutes and it goes <laughs> yum 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 so now that the banana bread has been baked for 40 minutes, we need to insert the skewer. You can use a skewer or a toothpick to do this. Why do you insert it? You insert it to the pointy bit. You can use a skewer or a toothpick to do this. Then we insert it to check if it's ready. If it's clean, it means it's done. If you get a piece of the banana bread means it's not and this has nothing on it so it's nice and clean so it's ready and now we have to leave it to rest for about 10 5 to 10 minutes then we turn it over on the cooling rack so now that it's rested for 10 minutes Bobby's gonna turn it over onto the cooling rack so goes onto the cooling rack and we leave it to cool down before we cut so that it's properly set and it doesn't split when it's cut. They slice gently. Yummy good 
Yes. The yummy goodness, mm. people. This is mm. good. I know Kay is going to finish a loaf after, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Uh, yes. Uh. Did you see him? How he gobbled it up? <laughs> He's going to finish it. You need to try this yummy goodness, mm. people. And if you like a private chat or you want private lessons, you want catering services. All the contact details are in the description button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so you'll be seeing Kay and me doing Go. a lot of food and so that we can teach our boys and our men to cook so that ladies, we can have some rest. Thank you for watching. Ciao. Have a fun time making love.